Is it weird to anyone else the split POV flashbacks with Esh and I and Venli? Internet, Cosmere not, Raffo. On the docket today is part three of Rhythm of War. The previous parts are linked in the description. Spoilers for everything. We're talking about fundamental Cosmere concepts, so it's good to have the rest of the books as a base. If you haven't read the rest, uh, watch whatever you want, I guess. Part three! Nine years ago, Esh and I discovers the humans. Venli sings the song of Listing from the Words of Radiance epigraphs. They are of the first rhythm family. Venli has all three colors in her skin patterns, mostly white and red, but with small spots of black on her neck, maybe which is very rare. In the past, my kind found it difficult to persuade Spren to manifest themselves in the physical realm as devices. It seems Void Spren are not as naturally self-sacrificing as those of honor or cultivation. Thanks for the tidbit. Odium is riding Moash's connection to Kaladin to give him nightmares? <laughs> Cord is with Dalinar in Emul. Where is Risen? Nail shows up, calling Dalinar's war unjust, and then Dalinar goes bondsmith on him, forging a connection to him and witnessing bits of his past, going backward. The breaking of the Oath Pact, protecting a child, instituting law and the right of movement, and eventually his invitation to the Oath Pact by Yezrian. He and Nail were enemies. Dalinar sees the connection between Nail and the remaining eight heralds. He wonders if he can reforge it. Axendweth, a ferru chemist, asks Eshenai if she's seen any honor spren. We see where the belief that the chasm fiends are the Parshendi gods arises. The sibling lost the rhythm of their light when Ba Otto Mishram was restrained at the end of the false desolation. Why didn't any spren mention it? Honor died soon after that. Hoyd mentions cows, which aren't on Roshar, and that he can't eat anymore. Wit? Harsher. Dalinar doubts if Wit could be killed. I suppose this is the sword's first kill. Aiden Alcium knows I could never give her that myself. <laughs> <laughs> Tambor sympathizes with stories of Parshman oppression. Her kind have been treated similarly? We see them working on the ship. Are they all slaves? Axendweth speaks with Venli in her language, obviously manipulating connection somehow. In fact, just previous to that, Venli said she'd been mostly ignored by the other humans, a side effect of storing in a Duralumen mind. There are forms of power that can heal. Progression? That would make sense. Dalinar mentions Renarin's fidget box, first seen in Way of Kings? Renarin quotes the Horn Eater Stew recipe, definitely from Way of Kings. Take everything you have and put him in pot. Don't let anyone air sick touch seasonings. Dalinar remembers Renarin's support in the Oathbringer flashbacks. Renarin sees Dalinar in a vision, stark white shard plate, though you are pierced with a black arrow. Renarin is to Odium like two Mistborn both burning Atium or Electrum. Knowledge of the future changes the future. Renarin and Gliss communicate by thoughts, yet other Spren seem to need to actually be spoken to. Sill, Pattern, Windle, even Tambor, who literally lives inside Venli's gem heart, requires her to speak in order to communicate. Why? As Sill's bond with Kaladin deepens, she's getting better at manipulating the textures and colors of her form and also experiencing more human emotions. Is this hinting at the eventual fate of Bonded Spren? Ulim entered the gemstone given to Venli from the new storm to the south in Shadesmar. Making a grappling hook by just infusing the end of a rope is really cool. <laughs> Reading an ebook is really nice when Brandon randomly uses words like adsy, diaphoresis, or prodromes. Boop, definition. Mraze gives Raboniel the necklace we saw in Shadesmar that can anchor wearers through cognitive anomalies. Remember, his Babsk is Ayatil, not Thydekar. If your master does happen to ever locate cultivation, suggest that he ask her precisely why she made an edge dancer who was fueled by lifelight and not stormlight. Hey, Lift. Venli tries to swear the second ideal, and a female voice, presumably cultivation, turns her down. You can't be selective in your freedom. We get a page from a fashion folio with the now confirmed non-canonical singer pointy ears. That one. Thanks, Nikki. Chapter 61 epigraph is Navani wondering about white sand. Kaladin stole span reeds with corrupted spren, which work in the tower. Does that mean Renarin could use void light? Shard blades are given to common singer soldiers, only kept by fused that enjoy the pain. 
the screaming of the dead spren, or something else. Raboniel managed to infuse a sphere with tower light. How? Wit hints that eventually powers to kill tens of thousands in moments will become common. He found a sleepless who looked like a pen, which somehow circumvented his protections. One sleepless is working with the Ghostbloods, the true traitor mentioned in Donshard. Wit tells Yasna about Thydekar. Navani does spectral analysis on different lights. It's really cool. Science! Tower light splits into two separate spectrums that can't be recombined. Magic? Dalinar sees connection, like Milishi was able to do in the waning days of honor. Bondsmith abilities were tempered by honor after the destruction of Ashen. The story of red and yellow cloth the Stormfather tells is similar to how quantum entanglement has been explained. Upspin and downspin. The stones of Eurythiru speak to Venli as she tries to shape them with void light. That sound is familiar, the stones said. A child of the Ancient Ones, our friend, you have returned to sing our song again? <laughs> the Dawn Singers, ancient inhabitants of Roshar, shaped stone singing to pure tones and rhythms. Tambor has squires. Eshenai adopting Warform was accompanied by the pure tone of honor. We see why Zeth wore white, listener tradition for an attack. End of part three, interludes! Nightblood mentions Vasher and references his enhanced life sense. Gav, while playing, declares himself a Windrunner. Foreshadowing? Zeth's family was given to the Honor Blades. So when he was exiled, did he just keep the blade he had? His dad has a different blade, and his mother and sister are still in Shinovar. Vivenna liked Nightblood's jokes? Are oath stones always round stones with quartz inclusions? Or is it just the one that Zeth had? Cheery Cheery's got an interlude! <laughs> Risen and Vistum are talking about the sleepless and final events of Dawn Shard. Risen's got her hover chair, and Cheery Cheery can talk! I love it so much. It's like Baby Yoda learning to speak. Mmm, the way this is. We're now over halfway through Magical Die Hard, and next week we finally come to Hoyd's story within a story, as well as Sanderson's attempt at a courtroom drama. If you want to watch that right now, join these lovely folk on Patreon. Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, and Chris have had access to these notes for months. If you want to see all my research notes, as well as vote on what videos you want me to make next, join my Patreon so you can read and find out. There's that one. <clears throat>